Hey guys, Carla here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I will be cash stuffing our paycheck number four, the last paycheck for the month of November, and we're gonna go ahead and transition into the next month. But today, what we're gonna do is stuff our envelopes. This is only my husband's paycheck, and I already gave out our allowances and our food money that goes into the debit card now i have a separate allowance card my husband has a separate debit card for his allowance and we also have a separate debit card for bills and groceries and food so our groceries and food are mixed i don't have an eating out or a groceries envelope separately they're together and i just call it food and then the bills i just whenever i cash out all of my bills because i cashed off my bills so i can show you guys how i separate them whenever i'm done with that which is going to be this paycheck i'm going to be done with all of the bills i'll put that into our bills debit card and it just gets taken out throughout the month of december because we're like a month ahead on bills except for rent so i was able to do that and so it just gets taken out throughout the month of december and then by that time i'm already saving up for january's bills so that's how my bills work because i've had a couple of questions about that and i really wanted to help you guys out even though i can't really respond to comments i want to help out as much as i can with how i do my stuff but yes i decided to do my allowance in a debit card and the food because it's just easier we do pick up sometimes and it's just easier for us to just get taken out of the card um, I don't use any credit cards at the moment and I also use my own allowance for myself now and I use it for my dolls so that's why I decided to do it in debit because there's some really good sales sometimes overnight on Amazon or Target and I, I can't be paying in my cash and like I said I don't use credit cards so I try not to use the credit card with those things but let's go ahead and stuff these envelopes and as you can see there's only two envelopes right here two binders actually there's only two binders here is my bills and here is my savings challenges my sinking funds is right here but we're not stuffing it i'm not going to be stuffing my sinking funds envelope envelopes for probably the next six months don't like don't like quote me on that because i might change my mind but for right now my plan is i'm not going to stuff this for the next six months I'll focus on building our emergency fund back and also focus on paying more debt. That's what we're going to try to focus on. And I know you're probably like, what about like, you know, your sinking funds has saved you a lot. And that is true. It has. Um, even my challenges has saved me from multiple like stuff already. And you know, me as sinking funds is still here. Um, so for me as sinking funds or savings account, I'll pause that for now. But any type of money that she gets, which she probably won't get money this Christmas, she'll probably get a lot of gifts. I'll still put that here, but all of like the $10 every week, we're going to pause that for now and resume in six months. Like I said, I'm trying to build the emergency fund, so I'll just stack all the extra there. And since I'm starting my new job next week, not the next coming paycheck, but the next paycheck after that, we'll start seeing more money because that job is paying more and also I get paid weekly like my husband it'll be easier for us to save and I'm just gonna stack all of it and like if we need car maintenance money we'll just take it from there and I know that's not the way you should be doing I mean we can all budget differently but I do believe in sinking funds but for right now I'm kind of changing up tactics really quick when it comes to budgeting and i know you guys are like probably understanding me on that because i know a couple of you guys are kind of on the same boat with me so that's what i'm doing i'm pausing any type of sinking funds and if i ever need any of the categories i'll just pull it from the emergency fund i just really want to fatten up the emergency fund for us and that will include sinking funds that we need for gifts christmas i can start funding in july and i'll just put more but yes i just really want a hefty emergency fund that hopefully we can lay on and stuff like that now all of that is out of the way we do get more if we don't stuff our sinking funds and that was the point i'll get to save 60 dollars by not stuffing my sinking funds and the only savings challenge that i'll really do is my 10 dollars savings challenge which you know still doesn't have the label i did make the label because somebody ordered it so i was like i was forced to make the label for the $10 savings challenge. So whoever that was that ordered the $10 savings challenge from the sale, I appreciate you because it pushed me to make the the label for it. Because as you guys know, I deleted all my files accidentally. So I had to make it. But for this week, we're putting a $20 in here. So that's two tens. So that's two check marks. And I did update this from when I had to grab 
more from here. So we're just gonna do two check marks and I'm not gonna be doing the $5 and the $1. That's also gonna get paused. These cash stuffings are kind of gonna get boring, but I hope it's relatable enough for you guys to be okay to change up your strategies when it comes to budgeting. It's okay. We don't have to like follow a certain way of budgeting. You can do your own and you can change up things. I told you guys I was gonna, you know, take out the rent here, but I haven't. And it's like, it, it won't even close. Like my, my, my budgeting thing, it's just, you know, there's too much bills. Rent is already done. So we're gonna move on to electric which will put 35 so a little update like when it comes to our older apartment we would always pay like 200 something in electric 265 our air conditioner broke around december on our first year there which was our only year that year of december our air conditioner broke and kind of like that was the time that my sister moved in there and so that was i was wondering like why was the electric bill going up because before it was only one 20 for us three my husband me and i i was like okay that's reasonable adding more people and sometimes her other kids are there i was like okay it's going up a little bit and then it would like went up to close to 300 dollars and she was also like shocked because she said that's not how usually her bills are but now that we've moved out of that place ours went back to 110 actually like my electric bill was 106 last month and hers was kind of like the same range like she got like 127 bill because i was asking her we were thinking it was when that that ac broke that's when it started going up and they never really fixed it and then that's when all of the floods kept happening over and over and they weren't fixing it something was wrong with the ac now i'm not a an expert on these things but i think it's related because no one's electric bill should be that high so yeah we were kind of annoyed by the electric bill because of course we had to half it because you know we were both there and our families were both living in that apartment but it was just annoying that we had to pay that much when you know their first month there because they moved in around october their first month there is november that their our our electric bill went up to 160 so i think that should have been how high our electric bill was with 160 maybe or 180 for adding two more people sometimes her kids are there, her other kids, her other two kids are there every other weekend. So it should have been like 160, what is, is fine. But when it broke in December, it just kept going higher and higher and higher. So I was like, okay, something is definitely wrong. And now that we're both moved out of there, our electric bills are fine. It's just weird how they should have like fixed it properly, but they were doing like cover ups, they were taping things. Um, there was like water damage and then like I told you guys the carpet was smelling moldy and like they didn't even fix it It took forever. I'm just so glad to be out of that apartment. It's terrible <laughs> So for Wi-Fi, we're putting 18 And my husband and I use our computer a lot, but our AC It's never been that high even when I was a stay-at-home mom um, And we were you know paying for our electric bill It wasn't that high at all because I would be on my computer a lot because I'll be doing my work so we have 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18 for Wi-Fi. And then we got insurance here for 27, 6, and 7. So mostly you guys are just going to see me stuff bills, which is pretty realistic. We have a lot of bills. So we have 25, 6, and 7. I hope everyone's Thanksgiving was great. Ours was. I spent it with my sister and my husband's parents because you know we're kind of like the same family now because my sister's dating my husband's brother so it's kind of like a more tight-knit family now and they're expecting a baby so it's pretty cool my phone will be getting 27 and i appreciate everyone who took advantage or is t still taking advantage of the sale i really appreciate you guys so so much and i'm gonna try to get your orders up as soon as possible I do have orientation soon, so I'll start my other work, which is pretty exciting too. Here we have 25, 6, and 7 for my phone. And then my husband's phone will get a 20, and this completes his phone bill because he gives this to his parents. Subscriptions will get 7. We have five six and seven for subscriptions yeah. 
and then gas will be getting 30. Gas is also pretty cheap, but I'm still gonna keep the amount that I have until I'm pretty sure that it's gonna just stay this way because we'll never know. Diaper is getting 24, so I do have an extra five. So maybe I'll put that in my $5 savings challenge. So we have 20, one, two, three, and four. So I might've miscounted the extra and there's an extra five, but hey, she can go in the $5 savings challenge. So let's do that. So bills is definitely complete and packed, ready to go. Um, let's put this in the $5 savings challenge. You probably would be like, well, then you won't have traveling money. If I really have extra, like a lot of extra, I'll probably fund at least a $5 savings challenge. I think maybe the 5 and the 10. But if not, I'm not going to push it. So we have 45 in our $5 savings challenge. And the goal for this is 500. And we completed this quite a bit ago. We used it for the convention. But that is it for this cash stuffing. It's going to be short and sweet for the next couple of cash stuffings until I resume to stuffing my sinking funds. Thank you guys for always being here and for being so understanding and just being so sweet and supportive in the comments. You guys have no idea how much like anxious I get whenever I try to look at the comments because I'm, you know, I'm scared of like hate but I shouldn't be because I've been here long enough to kind of build a thick skin but i'm just grateful that the community we have here is safe and supportive and encouraging but also like try to keep us all accountable so i appreciate that from you guys so so much but i will see you all in my next video until then bye